Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? I'm doing something. Okay, hey, what's up, guys? Back with another video. And what are you? We're, we're gonna be reacting to how our cigarettes are made. And let's get reacting to 3, 2, 1, and let's start. How cigarette. Okay, I can't read that fast. The process of making cigarettes begins in the field where the tobacco is grown and harvested. Okay, cool. There are two types of domestic tobacco, bright and burly. Wow, the okay. The taste of American cigarettes is a result of the blending of burly and bright tobaccos, which have different characteristics. Whoa, 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 whoa. So they're saying that they could blend. Are they going to blend the tobacco? I've never seen tobacco plant. Let's just go back to reacting. <clears throat> Once the tobacco is harvested and dried, a process known as curing, it is then shipped to a stemmery, where stems and veins are separated from the lamina, okay. the preferred part of the tobacco leaf. Wait, 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 wait. How are they going to blend the tobacco when it's already dried? I mean, it can break. Wait, I'm so dumb. Give me a... That's what it I get. sent to a warehouse where it is aged for as long as two years to mellow and develop its flavor. Mm. During the aging process, the crop is evaluated to determine its characteristics for the purpose of blending. In order to make cigarettes most efficiently and economically, every part of the tobacco leaf is used. But in order to use many of those parts further processing is required. Oh, okay. I never do that. In addition that. to the burly and bright lamina, which is blended with imported oriental tobacco, there are five other components of the tobacco blend. What? Reconstituted leaf, blended leaf, improved stem, expanded stem, and expanded tobacco. Let's look at each of those five components. Okay. Reconstituted leaf, RL, is comprised of stems, small lamina, and other small particles of tobacco. I can't from the see that because my eyes are so slant. Utilized in cigarette manufacturing, RL is processed into a form to resemble lamina, much like a sheet of paper. In order to make a sheet of paper. RL sheet, the water-soluble material must be separated from the tobacco fiber. This is done by adding hot water and agitating it to separate the water-soluble material from the tobacco fiber. Once the liquid is separated from the tobacco fiber, the fiber is refined and processed into sheet form. The separated water-soluble material contains numerous compounds, all of which existed in and were naturally extracted from the tobacco material. The water is partially evaporated, leaving the tobacco solubles. The solubles are then mixed with flavorings, preservatives, and humectants. Um, okay, that's so many pipes I've ever seen. In my days, one, two, three, four, six million of them. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Am I going out of control or something? Am I? Uh... Ah. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What? Yeah, after I'm done reacting to this. Okay. Yeah, I gotta eat dinner after this, guys. Okay, now let's go back to reacting. Which maintain moisture and pliability. The tobacco solubles are then reapplied to the RL sheet. The RL is dried, cut into lamina sized pieces, and is ready to become part of the tobacco. I oh, do At no point in the RL reconstituted leaf process is additional nicotine introduced. I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah. I'm lucky I got a water bottle. <laughs> in fact, the nicotine level in the finished RL is 20 to 25 percent lower than the nicotine level in the raw materials. Like RL, blended leaf BL Hot is with a blend leaves. product as well. BL is comprised of burly stems and small tobacco particles recovered from tobacco processing. They are ground to a uniform size, blended, and with processing aids to hey, release the pectin, cool. a naturally occurring carbohydrate Please. in plants. When heated. Pectin forms a gel-like material that binds the particles together. 
flavorings, you oh my gosh, I'm like, are I'm like, added. And the mixture is cast onto a moving belt, heated on. and dried to form the sheet. <laughs> it is further dried and cut into laminar sized pieces, and then it too is ready to become part of the tobacco blend. The last three components, IS, improved stem, ES, expanded stem, and ET, expanded tobacco, are all made from <laughs> tobacco components that have been expanded. How? How will? First of all, how tobacco is like bad for your heart? Okay, that's just my arm. <laughs> and. Oh, I also want to say there's two expanded cigarettes. Or puffed up. Use of expanded products makes cigarettes more cost effective to produce because expanded tobacco has increased volume and lower weight. Therefore, cigarettes made with expanded products require less tobacco. Wait. In addition, expanded products Wait. yield less tar and nicotine because some nicotine is lost in the expansion process. As well, IS and ES are made from bright tobacco stems, which yield less tar and nicotine. Wait, on the cigarette, what about the white parts? Like, you know, like, when you get the white part, like, you know, where you put it in your mouth, and then, like, you know, yeah, that white part. It's like an inch, and then, like, if that goes part of the cigarettes. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know, then I guess I'll deal with it. Nicotine, then lamina. Expanded products are manufactured with two basic processes. IS and ES use bright tobacco stems that are moistened with water and steam. The stems are then rolled and cut. Humectants are added to ES for moisture retention. Sugar is added for flavor. The ES is dried in an expansion tower to its final moisture. IS is made by steaming and then drying to produce expansion. ET uses cut bright and burly lamina with sugar and humectants added and then it is impregnated with liquid carbon dioxide well, so and expanded that in a tower pregnant? much the same as ES. At this point, reconstituted leaf, RL, blended leaf, EL, improved stem, IS, expanded stem, ES, and expanded tobacco, ET, are complete and ready to... Cause all those... Yes, red as oh yeah. Okay, we blended with the burly lamina, that. bright lamina, and oriental tobaccos. Never at any point in the processing of any of these components has any additional nicotine been introduced. The components are then transported to the cigarette manufacturing facilities. Depending on which brand of cigarette oh, is to be produced, the amount of each component to be used is selected okay. by a computer based on leaf department formulation. The bright and burly lamina, RL, BL, and oriental tobaccos are individually conditioned with st- I've almost dropped the cross. Okay, that is sketchy. I'm not, do I'm not doing more about the cross anymore. Not the anymore. I'm not dealing with it. ...to increase moisture and temperature to reduce breakage. The leaf separation process is continued in the feeders and air separators. The bright and oriental tobaccos are mixed and a leaf dressing is applied, consisting of humectants and flavors. The burly lamina has a similar flavor spray applied, including humectants, sugar, chocolate, and licorice, and okay, then it is redried. An additional specific burly dressing is applied. These components are then blended together with the RL and BL according to the formulations for each cigarette brand. That partial blend is steamed and then goes to the cutting line where it is cut to a uniform size and sent to a rotary tire to reduce and control the moisture content. At this point, IS, ES, ET, and bright burly oriental small I'm lamina are added in brand specific formulations. And the total blend, all the tobacco that goes into a cigarette, is now complete. The tobacco then goes to the flavor cylinder, where final flavorings are added using denatured ethyl alcohol. Some big old thing. Denatured alcohol Wait, is alcohol, alcohol which has been rendered undrinkable. What? It must be used in this process because these flavorings will not okay, dissolve in it? water. Alcohol denatured with nicotine like sulfate and methylene oh. blue is the okay. only denatured How alcohol approved to be mouth. used in tobacco it's processing possible. by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Nicotine in the denatured alcohol contributes less than one one thousandth of one percent. That thing reminds me of the earth, so I don't know. The nicotine content in a cigarette. In fact, there is less nicotine in the final tobacco blend and indeed the final cigarette 
than existed in the tobacco materials before they were harvested or processed. Once the final flavorings are added to the tobacco, it is put in short-term storage. The total blend is then fed into cigarette-making machines, where it is rolled in paper and a long, continuous cigarette rod is created. It is then cut to a specific length, depending on the brand, and delivered to the tipping machine where the filter is applied. The finished cigarettes are then packaged, sealed, and ready for thing. shipment. And that's oh, how cigarettes that are made. Bad. Damn, too weird. I'm not that funny. That's it? That is it? Black screen. That it? Y'all look like me. Okay. If you like that video, please hit the like button down below. If you want more of these reaction videos, please hit the like button down below. And yeah, I got it somehow it's made. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, man. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe, hit that like button down below. If you guys want more, please subscribe. Please. Okay, that's my face. Okay, that is my face. I'm too weird. So if you guys like that video, please hit the like button. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.